Since my video went viral and catapulted Hillary's health back into the national spotlight, we've seen more examples of Clinton behaving bizarrely, completely losing her wits mid-sentence. We need to make what we've got work really well and improve it and get the costs out of an upward spiral of a upward spiral. Nearly falling over again. Referring to Trump as her husband. You will compare what I'm proposing to what my, my opponent is talking about. Having to be calmed by a mysterious secret service agent. Oh, you okay? Who also carries around a weird syringe which some speculate carries an anti-seizure drug. The re-emergence of photos from February showing Hillary being helped up the stairs by the same guy. I've also been privately contacted by more medical experts and neurologists who agree that Hillary has major health problems. More health professionals have also gone on the record. We have a right to know fully what a neurologist says about this. If you're going into a very important position like this, it's, it's critical. Right. And uh, that information should be something that we should have access to. Secretary Clinton has had a history of unexplained falls, a fall leading to post-concussive syndrome, which was documented, and then a cerebral venous thrombosis uh, that was discovered post-fall. For both candidates, medical history, neurological history has to be transparent. This is a long and rigorous campaign. A Secret Service whistleblower also reached out to us privately to reveal how half a million dollars has been spent creating disabled access for three SUVs used by Hillary. Hillary herself admitted that she short circuits and gets really tired and collapses. The revelation that she's taking most weekends off. Oh yeah, and this AP reporter claimed that Hillary's behavior was perfectly normal. Okay. But according to Clinton mouthpiece, The Daily Beast, The Washington Post, CNN, MSNBC, and others, the whole thing is just a baseless conspiracy. Total conspiracy theory that literally came from InfoWars. MSNBC's authoritative medical expert, Charlie Pierce, also completely debunked my claims. This is just nuts, yeah. okay? This is just completely crazy. Oh wait, he's actually not a medical expert. He's a game show panelist. But to be fair, they're right. I mean, anyone who questions the health of a presidential candidate simply has to be insane. Is McCain simply too old to get elected. If it's John McCain's health we're talking about, and he's running for the highest office in the land, his health, with limits, becomes the public business. How concerned are doctors that this skin cancer may in fact return? Unfortunately for the pro-Hillary prostitutes, their spin isn't working. According to a Rasmussen poll, 59% of Americans want to see Hillary's health records. 59% say release medical records. What's wrong with her? Google searches for Hillary's health are through the roof. Just as John McCain was pressured into turning over his medical history, Hillary needs to do the same. We made this into a national conversation. We forced the establishment media to address it. Now they're terrified. More revelations are coming. Will the dam break or will the cover-up continue?